Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down the second sneak peek trailer for Better Call Saul Season 6. Warning is spoilers for Breaking Bad, El Camino, and Better Call Saul up to the Season 5 finale. Subscribe to the channel for more Breaking Bad Better Call Saul content, like the video if you enjoy it, and feel free to check out my Twitter, link in the description. So speaking of Twitter, I had a viewer link me Bob Odenkirk's tweet from yesterday saying that he'd be on Jimmy Kimmel last night. So I decided to search up the interview on YouTube and it had been posted three hours prior. It's all over Twitter now, feel free to check that out too, but link for that will be in the description. So just over halfway into this interview, they suddenly show a new sneak peek clip from Season 6. It makes sense that they do this on Jimmy Kimmel, as I believe they've done this before with previous seasons, but for some reason it was still a surprise to me, I was just watching the interview for the sake of it, and I wasn't really expecting it, so it's a happy surprise I guess, but anyways, story time over, let's just Discuss the sneak peek. Do you have any cash for the taxi? Crap, all I got is five bucks. This sneak peek features Jimmy and Kim in Kim's apartment getting ready to leave for the day, when they realize that they don't have any cash for the taxi. This is where Jimmy goes and grabs a bag full of money that he got for being Lalo's bag man in season 5 in order to bail him out. Jimmy and Kim are shown to be hesitant to spend the dirty money for obvious reasons. I wonder if there's another scene that happens before this where they both agree not to spend the money, along with if and how they're gonna possibly launder it. Could Jimmy set up a business such as the laser tag place in Breaking Bad in order to launder ill-gotten gains? There's a theory where Price runs the laser tag store in Breaking Bad, so maybe he can return in Season 6 and we can see it happen, just a crazy thought. The moment of Jimmy grabbing the bag of money out of the closet was also in one of the Season 6 teaser trailers, and I can't believe I didn't recognize it at first, but at least now the importance of showing that scene in the other trailer has been answered. Think the cabbie will break 100? So Jimmy asks Kim if she thinks the cab driver will break a $100 bill, but Kim ignores this, reaching for Jimmy's coffee mug with the bullet hole through it. This is where the sneak peek ends. As we know, Kim found this coffee mug in the bag during episode 509, Bad Choice Road, and then later on in the episode she tells Jimmy that she knows something bad happened in the desert, but doesn't force him to tell her. Kim finding that coffee mug with the bullet hole is why she stood up to Lalo at the end of that episode, and while doing so, she did learn a few more small details about what happened but not the full story. So is there a scene where Jimmy fully comes clean to Kim about the shootout? Considering there's a taxi outside waiting for them in this sneak peek, they probably don't have time to discuss it here, but they could either agree to discuss the shootout later, or to just move on entirely. Knowing Jimmy's inability to process things due to, you know, Chuck's death and whatnot, they might just move on. And I assume that this sneak peek leads into the clips from other trailers of them walking outside Kim's apartment, showing that they threw out the coffee mug into the trash. So do they try and bury the hatchet by throwing out the coffee mug? I mean, I guess, you know, it'd represent bad memories. They could also probably want to throw it out due to it being such dangerous evidence on what truly happened in the desert. Also, random thought involving Kim from previous trailers. In the official Season 6 trailer, you can see Howard and Cliff walking outside through a POV shot of what seems like binoculars. Then, in a different recent trailer, there's a clip of Kim sitting in a car using binoculars. You can see where I'm going with this, but my thought is that Kim is the one spying on Howard and Cliff with the binoculars that we see her with. I just randomly thought of that while thinking back on the trailers, and I wanted to mention that in a video since I never did back when we initially broke down those trailers. But moving on, there's one more thing I wanted to discuss before I end off the video. So the Better Call Saul Twitter has been doing a fun little thing where they tease the actors reading parts of different episode scripts for season 6, but they bleep out any potential spoilers. There was a Gus video and a Mike video, but they didn't really reveal anything. Then they released a Kim video. Episode 604, scene 26. Kim, driving, relaxes into the knowledge that worked. If anything, it went better than planned. Yet, in a block or so, she glances up, her eyes narrow. Oh shit. Kim's point of view, rear view mirror. In the are behind her, two cars back. It seems like in episode 604, Kim thinks that a con that she just did was successful, but then she realized that she's being followed? That's what I took away from this, but what do you think? I'm surprised that they read something from episode 604 instead of just 601 and 602 which release on Monday. And in this script reading, it seems like Kim is driving in her car, so could it be that clip from the trailer where we see Kim driving and looking in her rearview mirror? While finishing this video, I was just tagged in a third sneak peek on Twitter, and wow, it's a good one. 
one. Get ready for another sneak peek breakdown tomorrow, along with my Season 2 tier list video on Sunday. Where have they been hiding these sneak peeks the whole time? I mean, like, wow, I totally get them wanting to, you know, hype up the weekend that the show comes back, but it just seems surreal. Oh, and happy Easter weekend and whatnot. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything that I've said today, and if you're new to the channel or just haven't yet already, subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay updated on when I post new content on Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!